Hi, my name is Cash. Uh, welcome back to my channel, Cloud Soldier. Uh, in this video, I will be showing you guys how to upload or push code from your VS Code to Azure DevOps. Uh, in our last video, I have shown you guys how to push your code from VS Code to uh, your um, GitHub repository. Okay, let's start. Um, if you remember that this is the last time I showed you guys um, how to do it in github so this time what we'll do we go to Azure DevOps in one of our this project we'll create a new repository and we'll push our code from VS code to this one okay let's click this project and we go to a repository repository and these are the repository we have so let's create a new repository and this time we call it as uh, terraform this time we call it as terraform git terraform uh, demo terraform repo demo 4 uh, click create it and uh, we got so at the moment you can see this repository is empty so uh, let to do this what we'll do first we create a brand new folder so we close our existing folder let's let's copy this for testing purpose so control a sorry uh, control a copy that so close this folder and we'll we will create another folder in our um, so we documents right click create new folder we call it terraform code repo 4 okay and uh, let's open from here this folder open folder if you go to documents and terraform code repo 4 select this folder at the moment we are in the root it is no file let's add a test file I'll just call it a main dot tf dot tf is for terraform extension if we click that and right click and paste the code we copied earlier so just for example so basically we have we have got this code locally and we are going to push it uh, to our remote repository which is which is in Azure DevOps all right let's do it so if you go to terminal and click new terminal and uh, if I do git status so so it's obviously so that means this is not a git repository so first step we do git in it let's check we got a git installed or not so git hyphen hyphen version yes we got git installed as you can see that 2.43 so we do git in it so the the folder is initialized if you go back to our folder and you can see to repo 4 if you can see yeah here so, so we got a git folder here you can see that so we go back again and this time we do git status and you can see the main file is untracked main.tf so we need to track it and and uh, stage it locally to do this we add locally to do this the command is git add and dot is added and then we commit this file locally git commit minus m command main dot tf is added 
time okay and now we, if we check our git status now so nothing to commit so we have committed locally what you have to do now to push this to, to our azure repo azure DevOps repo so what to do just go to our azure repo copy that git remote at origin basically the whole command and it will push this to our code copy that right click and put on our speed again push it paste it and so it is connected to our repository make sure uh, you can uh, have a path token which is person x token or if if the first time you're doing it uh, for example you have created a new account in github it will ask you for your password but i have used it before so i'm all right at the moment so now we're going to push this you can see there's three items of these done counting all then has been pushed so if i go back to my repository and refresh it here we go so you got main.tf all the data has been pushed to let's do something else just to make sure you guys understand let's create another file and this time i'll say command dot text and in this one i'll say just like you can see this u means untracked so we have we had a new file so say this is a text file and we go again to track it and stage it directly to untro sorry to locally and on a video git add git add and then we do git push sorry git uh, commit so instead of git main or say we can say so you can get this command by up arrow command just edit enter that's done now we need to git push we don't have to do git remote add now because we have already uh, connected to the remote repository to show you that you can check why this command git remote minus v as you can see that yes we are connected to our repository what i do again so we do push again git push first let me show you the git status as you can see oops wrong spelling git status as you can see nothing to commit we are fine so we have to push it git push all origin here we go it's all working fine so if I go back to my repository go back to my files and we can see that command also has been pushed so basically uh, this is very important uh, when you are working on a project so instead of working on your main repository file you create a local branch out of this main and after that you work on this local branch or any feature comes in if a developer puts in code or something so you commit add and then push it to your local branch from local branch you create a pull request and pull requests and you is a branch policy if it's there that a one of your colleague or if your manager is required to approve it you will approve it and uh, th then it will be either a build will trigger or it then it will be pushed to main main repository so if you can see branches here so this is our main at the moment and this is default branch yeah and you can also create a local branch from here so i hope this is quite informative for you guys please uh subscribe my channel and uh, Definitely I'll be creating more uh, videos after that. Thank you very much. Goodbye.